Hello, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Great Corporation, where we provide uh, executive leadership tailored to your organization. In, in this week's uh, business tax segment, uh, I wanted to spend a few minutes about talking about working with your tax advisor on preparing your business and, of course, personal taxes. Because in small businesses, sometimes there's very little difference between the business tax and the individual tax. Um, yeah, I'm a CPA. I am not in the business of preparing taxes anymore. Harvard Grace does not do that. Uh, but as um, independent CFOs of, um, of our clients, we work with their tax advisors. So uh, we're, we work hand in hand to make sure that we get the best result for the clients. Uh, and uh, that begins on January 1st of every year, uh, not for the prior year, but for that year. Uh, you have to uh, prepare all year long to uh, keep your records in such a way so that uh, it will be efficient uh, to file your taxes the next year. And so, and if you have a plan, you're not missing uh, deductions for things along the way. There's a little article attached here about collaborating with your tax advisor. I thought it was good. I thought I would share it. And so here, here's some of the key points. Uh, you want to keep documentation. Uh, the article says keep your receipts handy. Your receipts uh, seem to be more of an individual thing. But every business must have documentation, whether it's a credit card receipt or an invoice, that goes along with every transaction, uh, both uh, income and, um, uh, and deduction. Yeah, uh, and if you're using any sort of a modern accounting software, you can usually attach a digital copy of that documentation to the transaction and software and you don't even have to worry about a filing cabinet. Uh, that leads me to the second point. Use accounting software. Uh, they are generally cheap and easy to use with lots of training uh, around. QuickBooks is the go-to. They probably have about 80-85% market share of small business accounting. There have been many others coming on strong in the last few years such as Xero uh, and EasyBooks. Uh, along the way. Uh, anyway, use an accounting software. Uh, this will help both you as far as generating reports that you need uh, as well as your tax preparer. And if you need to change anything, uh, you booked it wrong, then it's easy to uh, change that. Um, we've already talked about record keeping. Uh, make sure if you've bought any large pieces of equipment or anything of that nature, uh, keep all of that documentation because when it does come time to uh, file uh, taxes, there might be special tax credits or there might be been taxes already paid on that that you can get a credit for. Uh, you know, that could be a car, uh, a printing press, uh, you know, large storage facility, any of, anything of that nature that you purchased. And, and here's something that most tax preparers do. They will send out an organizer. It'll be organized in information in a way that they need to see your data, and it'll have last year's data in there as a reference. Complete that for them uh, and, and help them help you, because uh, their time is not really supposed to be spent in putting numbers on a form. Many people can do that. You want your tax preparer to be thinking about the numbers that you're doing in, in ways that will help you. Um, meet with them early in the year and throughout the year as things change. So collaboration with your tax preparer will help you save money in the long run. So uh, if there's anything we can do to help you, there's a Calendly link uh, attached to this. Uh, I'd love to talk with you. Uh, reach out, book some time with me, and uh, we'll see what we can do together. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.